Okay, let's dive in. We're looking at this uh, concept called research novationaries today. It seems like it's trying to get a handle on, well, all the new research, especially where things like bio and tech collide. It's a lot. It is a lot. And that's exactly the problem they're tackling. This source suggests research novationaries isn't just a place, maybe more like a framework, a way to decode what's coming next in research. Right. Decoding the future. So what's their big idea, their sort of core hypothesis? It's pretty bold, actually. They argue the future is convergence. Hmm. Full stop. No more neat little silos. It's biomedical science, data science, and just relentless innovation all mixing together. Mm, convergence. Okay. So our mission here is to figure out what that looks like, according to them, and uh, how they suggest we actually understand it all. Exactly. What areas matter? And crucially, what's their unique approach to making sense of it? Okay. And you mentioned approach. That's where it gets interesting, right? They don't just, like, give you the headlines. No, not at all. They have this specific method. They basically... Uh, Dissect new discoveries yeah. using the structure of a research paper. Like introduction, methods, results, discussion. That structure. Precisely that structure. Intro, methods, results, discussion. But here's the key thing they zero in on. The methods section. Ah, uh, okay. So it's not just, hey, AI found a new drug. It's how. How was the AI built? What data, you know, what algorithms, what were the steps? Gotcha. The process. They're saying the how is more important than the what's, or at least as important. Maybe even more important for understanding. They argue the real insight, the stuff you can actually use or build on, it lives in the methods. Knowing how it was done lets you judge if it's solid, see the limits, maybe even apply it somewhere else. The result alone doesn't give you that. That really makes sense. I mean, especially with the kinds of fields they're covering. You said biomedical, data science. Yeah, and under that umbrella, they look at AI breakthroughs, sure, but also things like how research papers are actually written. Health tech, clinical informatics. Clinical informatics, that feels important here. The bridge between the data and the actual healthcare. Absolutely vital. If you're using data science in medicine or building health tech, you need that connection. Understanding the methods across these different areas, that's how you see the big picture. So their goal isn't just reporting. It's uh, providing insights, yeah, but through this specific methodological lens, pushing you past the headlines. Exactly. Challenging the status quo, making you look under the hood. Under the hood. I like that. And they even have this other quirky thing, research riddles. Oh, yeah. Research riddle. Medical riddle. That caught my eye, too. What do you think that's about? Like little puzzles. It sounds like it. Maybe thought experiments, experiments based on real based research on issues. Real mm -hmm. research like, issues. How do you interpret this messy data or which method fits this problem? It suggests understanding methods isn't just passive reading. It's active problem solving. Mm, interesting. So, OK, bringing it back to the listener. Why should you care about focusing so much on methods? Well, because just knowing the results isn't enough anymore, is it? Right. If you, if you want, want to actually, actually use, use new knowledge, new knowledge or, or, you know, even just properly critique it, you need to get how it was made. You need the engine, not just the shiny car. This framework offers a structure for that. A way to dig deeper, faster, to interrogate the information, not just swallow it. And maybe spot connections others miss. Yeah. So wrapping up, the big idea from this source is research is blending disciplines and to grasp where it's heading we need to analyze how discoveries happen the method is the key it unlocks the real meaning it really seems that way okay so here's a final thought for you inspired by this research innovationaries approach if breaking down research like a paper intro methods results discussion, discussion helps, helps understand, understand complex, complex science. science how could applying that kind of structure thinking about the context the how the findings and the so what help you tackle something complex in your own work or even just your life Focusing on the how first might change how you see the problem entirely. 